The United Nations are, ma are mandated by the Charter to uh, be responsible for peace and security throughout the world. And this we do with, I will just quote a few figures, 17 missions around the world, uh, all continents, uh, 120,000 peacekeepers, mostly military, but also police and civilian staff, supporting processes either to support peace agreements or to help countries come out from civil strife, civil war, you know, and uh, generally uh, helping uh, all these processes to come to fruition. Let us look at uh, Haiti. Uh, decades of uh, a country being torn by uh, civil war, coups, uh, instability, and we are helping that country rebuild itself. This is exactly what also we are doing in Liberia. There again, uh, two decades of conflict, uh, tens of thousands of victims, and a state which had uh, to, uh, for all purposes, almost disappeared, and we are helping it to rebuild itself, you see. These are examples, and of course now uh, the latest challenge, as you know, is in Syria, where we are to observe the situation, report on it, and help in a uh, general way uh, change the general atmosphere so that uh, an atmosphere more conducive to uh, a peace process, a negotiation process. I think uh, the United States as a global power have a major stake, of course, in peace and security and stability all over the world. Now they can and they have chosen indeed sometimes to do it th themselves. But the United Nations provides, I think, uh, an effective yet much less costly alternative. I think a good example is uh, Liberia. I already mentioned it, a country which suffered through two decades of intense uh, suffering, a country torn apart, factions fighting, uh, civilians being killed. And I think working solidly with the United States, uh, we are effectively rebuilding the state, which went recently through its, uh, its first uh, democratic uh, and free uh, transition of power and now we continue building uh, the police and generally the state institutions. I think this is a major achievement when you think of what the situation was in that country about a decade ago. In a very different context we are also working very solidly with America in the new state of South Sudan, a state which did not exist, which never existed and which has to be built from scratch. And there again, it's a matter of uh, creating the institutions, supporting them, and uh, doing all we can to make that new 193rd country in the world a success. I think Syria right now, these days, is uh, the major challenge because of uh, the situation on the ground, um, because of... Uh, the fact that, above all, that uh, we are there to observe a uh, ceasefire which, in effect, does not exist. Beyond that, I think the challenge is uh, always the same, trying to do better, trying to do better with less, uh, but definitely, you know, be up to the standards and uh, moral values that the United Nations incarnate.